Alrighty kids, when you're done with the 3D model of your key tag, you're going to have to create a blueprint, an orthographic drawing of that. To start that, you're going to create a new file. Uh, make sure we're in an English template. You're going to go down to a drawing, an annotated document. And then you're going to click on this ANSI inch IDW. So double click on that and it's going to load an orthographic type drawing. What's nice about this, it's going to create the multi-views for us. All we need to do is put them in the proper spot and then put dimensions on those. When it loads, it starts off very similar to creating a part. Uh, this piece of paper that we're on is rather large, so we're going to change that. We're going to go over to the browser bar. I'm going to right click on sheet one, go down to edit sheet, and I'm going to change the size. Right now we're at a C size, that's pretty big. We're going to change that to an A size sheet of paper, click OK, and now the sheet of paper is a normal 8.5 by 11. Second step then is to right click on where it says ANSI large, so ANSI dash large. Right click on that and click delete. That's a really big title block. We want a smaller one. Hit the little plus symbol next to drawing resources, then the plus symbol next to title block. Double click on ANSIA, ANSI A. Double click that and it's going to load a much smaller title block. Then I'm going to hit the minus symbol for title blocks and drawing resources. Close those up. Now, next step, I want to edit this thing down here. This is what's called a title block. This gives you information about your drawing. To start, I'm going to right-click on ANSI A, Edit Definition, and now I'm going to edit these things. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, we need to change a couple things. The first thing is Author, so double-click where it says Author. Put your name in there, so the dialog box will pop up. I'm going to put my name in there. Click OK. Creation date, you can put uh, the current date in there. Save that. Uh, the company, you can make up your own company, uh, whatever you'd like. I'm going to put WTS PLTW in there. Uh, the title, you can call this Keychain or whatever you'd like. Uh, if you want to make up a name, that's fine too. Uh, if you scroll down to where it says um, scale, uh, we'll leave that blank. Uh, I need your name, date, um, title, and name in there. So uh, once those items are filled in, green check mark, finish sketch, yes to save the edits, and now it fills it in with your information. All right, so I'm going to zoom back out to the regular size. Now I'm going to start putting my views in there. In the upper left corner, I want you to click base. When you click base, you're going to get this dialog box. To start, you're going to find your file. So click this little Browse Folder button and navigate to your C drive, sorry, your H drive. So find wherever your H drive is and find wherever you saved your keychain. In this case, I think I saved my keychain in here. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. All right. Now I'm going to move. Um, this box off to the side. Don't close it. I'm just going to drag it off to the side. So here's my keychain. I'm going to locate it, the front view. I'm going to locate a top view. I'm going to locate the side view. Click one time and then give me an isometric. I'm then going to right click and click create. And it's going to generate uh, those views for me. Then you need to go up to the annotate tab and here's where you're going to find some dimensioning tools. So I'm going to click the dimension button. And now I'm just going to dimension my side. So I'm going to click on this line one time, just like we did with the part. Go up, click again. It'll give you some tolerances. Just click OK. I'll do the same thing with the side. Click OK, as well as the thickness tool. I'll zoom in over here. Uh, this one I'm going to give uh, three units. So I can see that it is a one, two, five. Um, if you have a hole or some type of slot, uh, you'll have to dimension that too. Um, start with a center point. This is the center point tool. Select that. Select the edge of your hole. Then you'll have to locate that hole too. To locate a hole, uh, you'll have to click dimension, click on the hole, click on the edge of the part, and drag that dim dimension out just as you would. Get a few dimensions on there, different sizes. Once you have those done, make sure you save it. So I'll go to iPro, save as. I'm going to save it in my H drive. Once it's saved, we can go to we can print that off. To print, you're going to go up to the big orange eye, go down to print, and print setup. Make sure we select print setup. The proper printer needs to be up here. 
We are um, Webster Middle School, room 427. The name of the printer is on top of the smart board in case you forget. Make sure the paper size says letter and the orientation says landscape. This is what your print setup box should look like. Check the OK button, then go back to the orange eye. Go to print. We want to make sure that we preview the drawing, make sure it all fits on one page with all of our dimensions. And then you can go back and you can print that copy off.